Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janelle and I do movie reviews, movie recommendations and vlog. Please do well to check my previous videos. You're going to enjoy them. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for always loving my videos. Thanks for watching always and you guys please keep watching i beg please welcome back guys welcome back today i'm going to be reviewing a nigerian movie blood vessel hmm now blood vessel was directed by moses in wang staring is debor adalbi david ezekiel levi chikiri obina okenwa sylvester ekanem katina ataman now I do not know if they were really speaking in Nigerian language, but I've never heard. Is that Benin they were speaking? Is that Wari they were speaking? I don't know. This video, this movie is giving me deja vu, like a movie I've seen before. Anyway, the genre is mystery and thriller drama and the runtime is 1 hour 58 minutes. If I'm to rate this movie, I would rate it a 5 over 10 because hmm, if something is good, let's say the truth, if it's uh, somehow, let's say the truth. Hmm. Anyway, this movie started with this girl, this pretty girl getting pregnant for someone a young boy in her village right at this village they were having serious water pollution so there were soldiers in that village trying to help them right and some of the villagers thought these soldiers came to show them shaky i don't they were showing them shaky at some point but the soldier, one of the soldier was killed by two thugs in the community. And Omar, the major, was not even having it. He said he was going to get those guys either dead or alive. He sent people to look for them. And let me go back to this pretty girl who was pregnant for her lover boy right when i saw the girl and saw the boy who she was pregnant for i was like mm, okay it's not so fine but <laughs> the heart chooses who it wants to choose right <laughs> oh my god now what this girl was being locked up by her dad who was not happy that she was pregnant and then he took a gun to go look for this boy at his parents place he locked her inside and said to her brother look they check this girl for me at the car so he went to look for this boy and this boy was just in front of him buying yam buying bole and yam but thank goodness he bent down to pick something and the man did not know he was the one and then he went straight to the house and was terrorizing his parent and then they had to send message to him that this man was looking for him and in fact no before they sent a message to him he went to visit his babe and saw that she was being locked up inside and then he helped her remove the ac vent and he let her out from that place and they were just i don't know what the way they were going to but they were just shot going and then these soldiers who were looking for those thugs that killed one of their men one of their men 
were just pursuing everybody pursuing everyone they even caught this guys this adult bees father they caught him caught some other villagers and then they were trying to interview them asking them if they knew the talks and this man said <laughs> he said he knows their gang leader and then he took these soldiers to the house of this boy who impregnated his daughter can you imagine how why what's the hatred about <laughs> in fact he wanted his daughter to abort the baby but yeah fast forward to when these guys were trying to escape from these soldiers these boys the the togs i mean these boys were part of the people running right so anyway they were able to hide till night time so the, the the soldiers were not able to you know catch up with them and they were able to hide and then they were just together a boy and his brother who wanted to leave home were there these two togs were also there and also these lovers were there so there were six trying to journey through the night right and then just like that these two brothers who were traveling out of the village to make a better life said they had one mr peace number who could who is a sailor who could help them travel out of the country they had to pay money and mr p put them in a boat and just like in a ship yes it was a ship they were sailing it was a ship right and then just like that mr p was sick i don't know if he staged his sickness not to be on that boat with them or on that ship with them but he was sick and he had to be taken back to the village right and then they started going they started joining mr p promised to bring them food once every day and they chose to get food at night but mr p was not forthcoming day one day two in that ship <laughs> mr p was not there at least we were hungry already oh boy if now you what you would do so one of them had to come outside to look for food and yes before i continue let me let you know that this ship was owned by an american who was carrying and is he american and oibo <laughs> who is carrying illegal stuff in this ship right so this they, these people on the on the ship they had guns they were bad people so let me go back to where i was this boy had to they had to look for food that night so he came out and was eating off their leftovers and then on the ship one of this boss's mistress after shagging came out to eat and saw this guy eating with his hands and she shouted she screamed and this man came out they arrested this boy and they were just asking him questions like are you a spy this and that um, uh, the guy was so relaxed that he even told them that hmm, um, uh, there are others and thank goodness before they went for them before they went for them this girl's lover had already come out too because she was sick and he wanted to look for drugs for her that was the only reason this boy was left out hmm. Hmm. He played a rat in this movie. When they were being caught, they gave them food quite all right. And then they shot at the first one who came out to get food because they thought they were spies. And they were already arguing there. He was so relaxed and arguing with his brothers and sister. And bam, the shots like, boom, is his head. And he died straight up straight up i took the other one's hostage and then just like that they brought in the brothers to fight and the younger one wanted to fight because he wanted to survive oh this movie was somehow 
And then huh, the elder one had to stab himself just for them to take his brother to safety. And they did not even wait for this boy's body to do one day. They shot at his brother and threw him into the water. And then it was left with this girl and her lover playing a rat. They tied her, kept her there. They were going to kill her, but they wanted to use her to get to this boy. They almost skinned one of the touts, dropped him where they were putting pig meat, pork meat. And it was just so brutal, man. It was just so brutal. I wasn't understanding the movie. And then Perry was in the movie. He was someone there held captive to. He was in these American jail uniforms. <laughs> this boy this boy's girlfriend who happened to be pregnant was killed she was killed and then goodness he fought and fought and fought these people and he took them all out like he took them all out him and Perry took them all out and they were the, the two survivors on that ship and they took possession of all the money on that ship and mind you let me remind you that if you do not like bad endings do not do not watch this movie but if you like if you enjoy movies if you enjoy watching movies tragic movies and you enjoy movies that are mind tasking then you should go you should go for it this guy survived and he came to share money for the parents of these people who he was traveling with right and he found out that those two brothers the one that threw inside the water was saved how was he saved he was able to come out alive <laughs> Through the help of people of course right and this guy came to the village to give money to people and he was supposed to leave and he came to beg the father of his girlfriend that she died i believe they told him the story but he still wanted to take this boy out but thank goodness the boy was just living for the city and this man was just coming with a gun that he went to rent how can people be so unforgiving? Now, wow. Anyway, this was the end of the movie. Thank you so much for watching. It was a sad one. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And I hope to see you on my next video. But please, if you have not liked this video, please do well to like it. Thank you. Hope to see you on my next video. Bye.